Hi, I'm Krista. And I'm Jason. And we're the Good Time Gamers. Today, guys, we're going to talk about a game called Mountain Goats. Yep. It's really fun. It's um, it's a shorter game, yes. which is kind of nice. Um, and it's good for a lot of ages, but, you know, let's, let's just see how the game goes. <laughs> see how it goes. Um, great. So here, and this is the board you can see here. Um, it's not really a board. No, it's like these giant tiles here. These giant. Yeah. They're like cards. Yep. Yeah, giant cards here, square cards. Mm -hmm. And um, numbers five to ten. We have our mountain goats here at the bottom. Um, this game plays up to four players. Yep. Two to four. I guess you could play it solo. I don't know why you would, but. If you uh, want to. You, you know, know just, I, you, you, you do it. You could play it solo. Here's the time you could play it solo. Is like if you do, um, if you want to give like a kid an opportunity for some addition practice or something, and you'll find out in a second because we'll explain how the game goes. This could be a great like supplemental math activity. Yeah. Where you are giving a kid some additional addition practice, like a first, second, third, first or second grader, probably third grader if they need some extra help. That'd be my. Yeah, with the dice though, you know, like making those combinations with the dice too. That'd be right. good. Yeah. Hey, let's hear your best mountain goat noise. <laughs> what? You go first. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> let's hear yours. No. What? I don't, I don't know what a mountain goat Me either, so I just made one up with it. Let's hear it. Nah. <laughs> Gosh. That's really good. I don't really get embarrassed very often, but I feel a little embarrassed. Yeah, I don't really care. Okay, so back to the board here. Jeez. All right, so you got this here. She's ketchup. I'm mustard today. I cannot stand being red. I just can't take it. So um, <clears throat> what you do is you roll these dice. The goal of the game is to get the most points. Here's all the point tokens up top here. These are the bonus point tokens, and they go 15, and they go down by 3 every time. Um, and the way you get bonus points tokens is... If you have one of each of the other point tokens, the first person to get it will get the top one, which is 15, then the next person could get the 12. So on your turn, you are rolling the dice. You know, I'm going to roll them right here, um, right yeah. in the middle of the board. You're going to mess up those tiles. Yep. Um, and what you're going to do is you can make any combinations of these dice to equal these numbers, and you're going to move your goat up according to that. So I could do five and six here. Um, I could do a 10 and then just ignore my number one. Um, you know, you could do a couple of different other things. Now, if you were ever to get two ones and a roll or more than one one, one has to stay one. The other one, you can make any number. So if I got this, let's say I had like put those together, make eight, and I could turn this and make that as a six combination. And if I got this eight and the six combination, I would move my goat up whoop, one on eight and then one on six like this. Every time you get to the top, so if I get up here, I get a six token. Um, and I could, every time I added a six, got another six up there, I could keep pulling these tokens. So you can share spaces with, with anyone in the game. But as soon as you get to the top, you would bump the other person back down off the mountain, and then she would get the six token. Mm -hmm. Great. Let's do it. You go ahead and go The first. only thing I want to add, you did an excellent job. Explaining. Let's Let's hear it. If I'm at the top, I get my six, and if I roll again and get a six again, then I just get that. Right. That point tile if I want it. That's right. That's all. That's all I'll say about that. Okay, go ahead. Oh, thanks. Excuse me. Oh wow. I might. Here's what I'll do here. Look at all these. I'm gonna do a five, a six, and a six. Okay. Look at that. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna go I'm going ten and seven. Man. Ten. Hey, wait a minute. Oh. You tried to cheat. You tried to cheat. I saw on the they're not gonna see it, but you moved my guy up. No, I didn't. To make it look like I was doing you something. You did that earlier. Hmm, look at that. This is okay. Well I'll take a six again and then a five again. All right. My numbers are wow. two, four, five, five. I'm going to go seven and nine. 
Okay, let's roll it. All right, well, look at that. Six, and I get a token. And you get another one. And I get another one. Oh. Okay. It's hard to reach way up there. Um, tell a, pause. You didn't talk about how to get these bonus tiles. I did, actually. No, you didn't. Yep. I said that if you get each one of these, remember? I said you get one of these, and then they go down by threes. You said that, but I don't think you said how to get it. Watch the video from earlier to see how you use the bonus tokens. You're too worried about the goat noise. All right. So That time had passed. Six and eight is what I got. It doesn't ever hurt to remind people in a new game. Yeah, you, know. you get them by getting one of each token. Oh, well, look at that. Wow. I could get... Look at all those fives I could get. Or yeah. I could get a ten. I think I'll get a ten and a five. That's what I'm going to do. Because you could... So, like, you can do any number of combinations. Right. I'm just making sure people are clear yeah. on that. You can. You're right. All right. You roll them. Yeah, okay. Thanks. All right. Two, three, three, four. I'm going to just take this 10. Ooh. Wow. And we'll get, just not use the 2. Knock that goat over. All right. Just don't use it. That's 2. Okay. I'm going to take a 5 and a 7. And I get okay. a tile. All right. We got our family pictures taken today. We really did. So I have this nice sweater on. TJ Maxx. I yeah, I had a sweater on. It was nice. That's out. Put my Star Wars sweatshirt back on. As you should. Yep. Six and eight. That's what I'm doing right now. Don't come for my six goat. Okay, I'm going for... Hmm, do I want to do seven and nine? Six and eight? Yeah, I do. Get that going right there. All right. I guess eight and nine for me. So that's the score on the Oh, eight, my score goodness. Nine. Yeah. Now, sometimes you may want to do something, but you just can't because someone's, you know, you, you, you got to catch up to the other person and knock them off the mountain. And remember, you can change one of those ones. I know. I'm trying to decide okay. what I'd like to do about that. I think I'll... Ah! <laughs> I think I'll take a seven and an eight. Oh, hey, look at that. My little friends. goat tried to lean on your goat. All right. That's lean what I'll do. on. What do we got here? Boom. No. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm getting two sets okay. of eights, which is two more eight bangers. Whoa. Here. Did you remove the tiles? Yeah. In it, a... Yeah. In a two player game, you remove two of each. Scoring token in a three player game, you remove one of each scoring token. Four player game, you just keep them all in there, man. Oh, you blew my goat back up. Bump off. your goat away. Oh, there's a new rule actually. I read it today. <laughs> it's where every time you bump a goat off, you have to make a goat noise. No. Oh. I did my goat noise. I did it because I like you and I love you. And you said you asked me to. Ten and nine, man. And I could edit it out if I feel like it. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, that's not helpful. I guess I could do five, six, and eight. You could. I guess I'll do that. Five, six, eight. Oh my goodness, my arms almost aren't long enough. Wow. I hope my microphone isn't doing that weird crackly thing. Don't know why I did that last time. No, I could change this. But okay. I need to catch up on those other ones. Then Catch again, up. I'll just do this. Make that a six. Grab a ten. My goodness. And go five. Okay. I'm grabbing them if I can, man. Yeah. Ten points. I know. Ten points is great. Oh, my. That's really not a very good roll. I mean, it's okay. I'm already on the fives, but, man. You could also could have used that as a ten, man. <gasps> I'll use it as a ten. See what a gentleman I am. That was real, can you hand that to me? I'm too my arms are too short. That was really gentlemanly of you. Thank you. But see, that's one of the nice things I like. About, that's one of the things I like about this game is that like it. I'm going seven seven. Especially for kids, like it allows that extra practice. You got two sevens. Yep. Wow. 
Okay. I'm going to go up here to the seven. What? And I'll take a six also. Where's your goat noise? <laughs> My goat is I a little sad. I wonder if a dog like would a... play a, a goat noise. Probably. Now, the problem is I really do need to get down there, but... Alexa, play a mountain goat noise. No. Alexa, stop. No. No. no She's trying to play a live radio show. Don't know that you could hear it. Um... I guess I'm gonna go eight and nine. You have another. a fuzzy on your hair. Thank you. Got it. Another nine and an eight. I need a nine around Whoa. here. Oh man. All twos, man. Oh, well, I guess I'll Not take bad. an eight. There's not much I can do about that. All right. I'm going six six. And then I'll just there's a lot of sevens left. But I'm gonna use this five. And then not use the two. Okay. All right. Cool. I got a nine, finally. And an eight. Now the eights are gone. No more eights. Now the game's over when three of these piles are gone. Okay. Okay. Good to know. One, three, six, six. What color am I? Yellow. Yellow. You refuse to be red. That's correct. Well... I mean, getting that nine is good. I'm getting the nine, and I'm going to take a six. Okay, I'm going to roll. I need a nine. Yes. Now I have one of every color. No, nope, you don't. Yeah, I do. I get this guy. Wow. Wait, right. wait, what was my other thing? Oh, a nine and a what? Oh, I don't know. I thought you had them both. Yeah. I didn't even really look. I think it was an eight. Cheater, cheater. Oh, no, eight's already gone. Pick a number. It doesn't matter. Pick one. Just let me roll two more dice. Let okay. me just roll two dice. All right. And I'll take whatever it is. Oh, how convenient. <laughs> it's a 10. <laughs> okay. See, what are you going to do? All right. The dice roll. is focused. All right. I'm going five, five, six. Five. Bye. Bye. All right. Make six. your goat noise. Okay. <laughs> I like to add a little surprise into the relationship. No, that. Hope my mic's working for all those. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. I'm distracted. What? One, two, three. There's three of those things gone. The game's over. <laughs> I told you that. Surprise. Man. Okay. Okay, I good actually game. was going to... Yeah, good game there. I was going to uh, try to get... Because if you get... You can get the first and second place, for example, bonus chip. Yeah. But I was going to try to... Well, you got the first one. And then I was like, well, I'll get the next two. But I only got one five. On that what are you going to do? Quit. All right, bye. Okay. Also, I'd like to... This is really cool. You know, this makes a cool picture. It's a lovely picture. It's cool, isn't it? But I mean, like, sure. they're all connected. What does that mean? I mean, like, if you push these all next to each other. Oh. It makes, like, a cool picture. Oh, yeah. That's kind of cool. So that would explain why these are numbered. Yes. One to four. That's why. Now I see how you said oh. you played it today. I noticed. I was like, why are these out of order when I was playing it with our one of our kids? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. I never put them right next to each other because they jostle. And then I sure. feel like I really got to fix it. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about the game. Okay. Gentlemen first. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's a good little game. Got it a couple years ago at Gen Con. Um, this, was a, this is one of the games that, well, they used to be called Board Game Tables. Mm -hmm. .com or whatever, and they sell the backpacks and the different games. We love our backpacks. Yeah, we do. All play. But, yeah, now that's all play. <clears throat> so, um, but they had it set up, you know, at Gen Con, they have probably other cons too, but they have all their little, they have their small um, tables, that like standing tables set up, which is nice. And so I remember demoing this game with two of our kids and they liked it. And I was like, this is a fun little game. Yeah. So that's, so I got it. I think it was a couple years ago, maybe two years ago, mm -hmm. three, three years ago. No. Two. 
Yeah. I think the last year, so it was three Gen Cons ago, which I think is about two years ago, right? That was 2020. There wasn't a Gen Con in 2020. <gasps> you know, something going on. No. 2023 was this year. 2022 is last year, which we, they didn't go to. 2021. That two years ago. Not yeah, two three. years, but three Gen Cons. Oh. Years determined by Gen Con. So... <laughs> um, so anyway, that's where, where, where we got mm -hmm. it, and they liked it, and it was really fun. Um, so it's good for a lot of different ages. And again, I just played it with our six-year-old the other day. Yeah. Um, and he can do it pretty well. I don't, you know, talk with him like, hey, why don't you try this combination instead? I just let him pick some dice, put it together, add it up, and then move his, you know, move his mountain goats up there. Yeah. I don't think, I mean... You know, he's six, so he's, you know. Yeah, he's uh, starting out. He's just starting out, right? Um, and sometimes I might, he might say, well, I can't do anything with this die. I'm like, well, why don't you combine it with this one? Mm. And what does that add up to be, sort of a thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's a fun little game. Um, again, anybody can play it. Yeah. Yeah. It's great if you have, like, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. You just need to fill something in. Um, yeah. Or something mm -hmm. that's like, yeah, not too. If you're in the middle of like all these heavy, intense games, you can just whip this out really fast. Yeah, sometimes you need like a little palate cleanser. Yeah. 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 So if I give it a score, I mean, I give this a 7.5. It's a pretty good game. Yeah. You think like, and, and I mean, I don't know how well it will translate when you watch it, but like in general, you don't feel like this would be like that. It, it could feel boring. Like the concept, like, oh, that's kind of boring. But I don't ever feel bored when I'm playing it. Or no. anything like that. I don't know. Again, I don't know how well that'll translate on video, but, um, but it actually also... like captures your attention. Oh yeah, fairly, fairly well. Right, and you can chat while you play it, but it's you know when it's your turn, some you might need to concentrate a little bit. But especially if you're older, you know, putting the dice together in different combinations Did is no you problem. Did you call me old? Not you. You informal. Mm -hmm. Like not a kid. What, what do you think here? I like this game. I think that it's, you, you know, easy, especially if you're in a situation like where you have people who want to play a game, but they don't want to play like a heavy game or, you know, or anything like that. You only have a couple people. You, I, I like it. I like it as just like a little filler. I like it as um, something to play quickly. Um, you know, hey, we have 20 minutes. Let's just whip this out really quick. Um, and I think that the fact that it doesn't have a ton of components lends itself well to that. Just being able to play a quick game, play a couple, you know, something like that. Um, something that I wish, like, I love the idea of this game um, to, like, take and go with you places. But because the tiles are so big, this isn't, like, a game I would take to say, like, hey, we're going out to dinner. Let's take a quick, like, let's take a small tabletop game to play. Like, I probably, even though this type of game is what I would want to take just because it's, quick and easy and you don't have a lot of pieces, but I wouldn't actually take this game because the tiles are so large. Um, so if there was like a min Mountain Goats mini, you know, or whatever, something that could do like small and you could take it with you a little bit easier. It's like, I couldn't play this on an airplane. I couldn't play it, you know, in the car. Not that, anyway, but like I couldn't take it, you know, out to eat or something like that just because it's, these are kind of large. So that's kind of a, Thing that I wish was maybe a little bit different about it. Um, you could call it Mountain Goat Babies. Baby Mountain Goat? Yeah, let's hear your baby Mountain Goat noise. <laughs> it's really good. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Um, I also like this, and I talked about at the beginning of the video, this would be a great game for like a sup some like supplemental math practice if you have someone who, you have a kid, um, who needs to practice some like addition and just like simple combinations, finding different things. This is like a really great, um, like an, an, a really great um, addition game and um, would kind of help with some of those skills. Like, a, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You can give it a number. If I were to give it a number, I'd give it like a seven and a half out of ten too, probably. I like it. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's good. And it's nice on a day like today where it's like we're at the end of fall break. We're going back to school tomorrow. You're going back to school tomorrow. Um, and kids. And it was kind of one of those things where it's like, we're going to play a game. We're going to like record a video. Let's do these things. But like, I love our children so much. But when you're together all the time, by the end of the break, you're kind of like, 
Everybody needs to go back to school. I'm ready to be back in the routine. I just needed something simple and easy. Short yeah. and sweet. Short and sweet. Short and sweet. So this and this is, is and this is it. This is great. We like this one a lot. Yeah. Okay. Anything else you want to add? No, I don't think so. Let's hear your last mountain goat noise. Okay. <laughs> okay, here it is. Stop. That was a male mountain goat getting ready to charge another male mountain goat <laughs> in a cool. contest. <laughs> All right, everybody. Could you have imagined that we would have ever put a video of ourselves making mountain goat noises on the internet? Hey, anything for our anything massive for number gram. of fans. <laughs> okay, no. well, see you guys later.